So, hold on, we've got one more Toots to Do you want a Toots Tonic? This is pretty good. Oh, perfect. Uh, where was the tavern again? Here's Toots. What did they think? All good things, right? Yeah. They loved it. This will surely bring all the town back to the tavern. I don't have much to give right now, but I think a little information can go a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner than later. You see, there is something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off the unlucky townsfolk who travel too deep into its woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now. More than I do in real life. We call it the Snoodle Wonka. That is the sort of thing I would name a villain. <laughs> that is at least a name Morton the Rock could understand when speaking to it. Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. He did not come out unscathed. That fateful night was the accident. The one where we lost half of the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. Morton accidentally led him right to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those were some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault though, no one does. I'm just not sure he's ever going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there and please don't go off into those woods alone. Wow, that was rough, dude! Yeah, go on, tell me another clock pun to cheer me up. What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back and forth. Oh, we already... We already heard that one. Oh, um, dark. Uh-oh. It's happening again. Uh... <laughs> I'm scared and creeped out. What's this? Hi. <laughs> You're just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? Oh, I see. Well, I hope it wasn't anything I said. No, it wasn't you. It was just bad times. Golly, I sure wish we had two more people. I think they went northwest. Yeah, but I got one of them back, didn't I? Hmm. There appears to be a strange hole in the ground. Will you descend? Yeah, sure. Oh gosh, everything is so slimy down here. What's that awful smell? Loneliness? We must find the source. Hi, Lloyd. Welcome to my humble abode, traveller. Feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. Thanks. Feel free to stay down here as long as you want. Uh, dude, is everything okay? You appear to have a quest marker. Can I give you something? Do you want a hand? Thanks, but I don't need that right now. Oh, right, I forgot I had the... All I want is a friend to keep me company. Will you stay and be my friend for a bit? Yeah, sure. Will you do something special for me? I must tell you though, you can't change your mind after, but I'll make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. Okay. I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking too, with a moustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. I miss the ground dwellers though. I had a best friend just like you. He was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. I know you won't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero, just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man. If you... If you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I would be so happy. Will you help me? Oh, okay. He seems so lonely. I sure hope we can find someone for him. Me too. Hey. <sighs> this is so strange. There you go. Hi there, fellas. I'm back. First of all, nothing had happened to Jar. He is still definitely alive. But he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though. He said he hates all of you. 
and V, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's show this adventurer what we can do. There's no bass drummer. I could be the bass drummer. I have an idea! Emma, do you know how to play the bass drum? Heck yeah! Go give it a whack! We'll start on your cue. I'm in a band. My god, that was the best bass drumming I've ever seen. <laughs> beautiful, just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion until this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. Ah, Thanks, Spro- Spro- Thanks, buddy. You rummage through the trash and find nothing. It's always worth a try though, isn't it? It's always worth a rummage. A little rummage. Hey, um... Yeah, if you don't mind, Morton. Thanks. Have I got... No, I don't think I really have anything for the, uh... For the cauldron yet. Um... Let's bring him down to the... Sewer, right? Yep. I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> that rock looks very friendly. You should place him down. Morton? Is that really you? Oh god, no! Anywhere but here! Oh. Oh. Oh, I really thought that, uh... I thought that Morton was gonna be the one. Want a hand? No. Okay. Fine. Okay, that's fine. Morton doesn't want to be down there. That's alright. I wonder where Morton would be happiest. I could put him in the bar. Would he like to be in the bar? Can I put him down on a stool? You politely ask the stool to take Morton. It declines. Oh. You place Morton on the ground. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. Okay. I just think it'd be not a bit nicer for Morton in here. A bit more social. Inside, out of the rain. Okay, so... Let's check the, um, the notice board. One of the posted quests says, Please someone come to Grandma's house at the southeast of town. I need hoop. Grandma's house at the southeast. Hello? France. Hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? Yeah, of course. I like to move around. Like a lot. Running used to be one of my favourite things to do, but I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I met Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago she fell ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate? Maybe life just being cruel? Sarah could no longer run with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Even gave up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together, sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually things got worse and worse as I watched her struggle to smile. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in her final hours. Her pink cheeks and her brown eyes winced with even the tiniest motion. That was no way to live. I watched my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Wow, that really helped me a lot to get off my chest. Oh, France. <gasps> I'm glad I helped. I was sad. Oh, um... Uh... Hello? Is Emma having fun? Yeah! Sure. Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Emma our friend? Heck yeah! I think so, but we can do better. 
Emma is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. Uh... Oh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, creepy hand. Ah. something wrong you were gone for 74 whole seconds this time if you don't want to play the game i made just for you then you don't have to i can tell something is distracting you i work so hard on all of this and all these fun characters but if you want to be done then that's fine talk to tortley if you want to start the final quest you can keep helping townswick if you want but if not i understand i guess no i want to keep helping i'm having fun oh right that's francis house and francis right there Okay, nobody's here either. This must be Granny's house. Hello. Scroobert! Please help me. I lost my grandma. She's somewhere inside the house and it's too dark for me to go in there alone. I'm afraid of the dark. Will you go look for her with... for me? No problem, Scroobert. I do have a white. Don't worry. I've played this game before. This place is dark. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go find Scroobert's grandma. You turn on the lantern. Grandma! It's locked. You probably don't want to know what's inside anyways. The coat's old, dusty, and smells like a swamp. Oh my god, if grandma's dead. I swear to god. the dial numbers have seen a lifetime of finger presses. Everything looks to be in pristine condition despite the derelict look of the house. Okay. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. You're far too afraid to sleep in here. Plus, I don't think Scroobert would like it if you slept in their bed. Yeah, probably not. Grandma! Most of the books seem to be related to poetry or technology. There's also one about hot dogs. Okay. Grandma's got eclectic tastes. Bathroom. On the bright side, it looks recently used. Okay. Look into the bathroom mirror and smile. Although I don't have teeth anymore, so it's not going to be the best smile. The closet is locked. I wonder why all the lights are off. Maybe they stopped paying the electricity? This is probably the oldest thing in the house. You're surprised to see it working, but barely. I think Scroobert's grandma kept her personal belongings in here. Best not to meddle with it. Yeah, fair enough. We pulled a lever. Oh, I saw someone. Oh no, Grandma! Dead Grandma! Yeah, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. It's not going to be at all traumatised by this, uh, s this turn of events. Oh. No thanks, you can keep her. I can't believe you got your own dead grandma. Those are a rarity around here. Good. Well, that happened. We're not going to use dead grandma as one of the ingredients, are we? Hello. It's like a blacksmith. 
Well, hello there, stranger. My name's Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members to town. So, like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is gonna need some steel to wield. If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Sure. Oh, rad. This is gonna be, like, amazing for both of us. Near the south of my shop. Protect me along the way. Please don't touch my arms. The last person that did that is six feet under. Okay! Oh my gosh, his little legs. Try and keep up. Okay, try and keep up and don't touch his arms. <laughs> I don't... I don't think you need my protection, buddy. <laughs> I hope I'm going at a fast enough pace. You just do you, Rudy, it's okay. Sure hope nothing bad happens to us. We'll be okay, we've got Jebediah to protect us. Man, I'm getting exhausted. It surprises me given the apparent strength of your arms. He's just like all arm. Almost there, I can see it now. You're doing it, Rudy. You're killing it, mate. <laughs> this is so silly. See that metal pile? We're getting closer by the second. We sure are. I hope nothing happens to Rudy. I'm really upset. What a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all that walk. Get on the pile of metal and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. <sighs> Here we go. Thanks, Rudy. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Thanks, Rudy. <gasps> Jebediah's got to follow along, obviously. Oh. Jebediah's on now as well. Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. That's because Jebediah's just... <laughs> jumped up. Jebediah, you're so naughty. Rudy's gonna be a great friend, I just know it. I mean, just look at those arms. I'm working on your weapon, but it might not be ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay, no problem. I'll, um... It smells like violence. Coin removed from inventory. You tossed the coin into the well. I hope your wish was for eternal friendship. I really hope your wish comes true. Yeah, me too, buddy. Um, I've got dead, <laughs> dead grandma, glass of water, hand shuffle. Anything else? One of the posted quests says, Hi, I uh, need some advice on love. If you have any words of wisdom, come find me and look for my great big grin. I'll be in my house. Twiddles thumbs. Yeah. Crunch it? Nobody's answering. That's just the person who's like, get out of my way, punk. P and the rest is scratched out. Door's locked. That's Bean, obviously. This is... Oh, Grin! Oh, wow! What a cosy, well-furnished home. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. It's a cheesy romance playing on the TV. I thought coffee just left stains, not entire puddles. Oh. Coffee can leave puddles. Believe you me. Grin must have some secrets. The bed emits an odour that makes your eyes wet. Gross. Hey, Grin. Oh, uh, excuse me? Um, I got a question for you. Do you like oats? Yeah, I like oats. Ah, who doesn't? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. You see, I'm in love. The problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Botley, and she's... Beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to her? Then she will really know my love. Wait, really? Well, thanks, here you go. She has two beautiful eyes and beeps the cutest boops. You can't miss her. I bet you'll know exactly who she is. I do know who she is. 
She lives right next door. I watch her every day so I know exactly how she makes them. I know she likes oats because she leaves her blinds open for me so I can see inside. Oh no. Ah, true love. Ah. Ooh. Not sure. Okay, well that's fine, I know where she is. Oh hey, I haven't even... Oh right, it's the mayor, it's Tortley. My bad, I thought of somebody I hadn't seen before because I've not spoken to the mayor in ages. Okay, let's deliver this. There's the oats. Yes? Oh, it's removed. They're gonna make such a perfect couple. Yep. Yeah. 